begin and rose to sand in my defense. So I come to tell you he's alive, to tell you that he dries every tear that falls. Hello and welcome to Five Minutes from Friendship. Thank you for tuning in today. I'm Clint Lewis. I'm glad that you are here. You know, it's a wonderful thing when the Word of God just gets in you and stirs you up. And that's what the Word of God will do. It'll be your comfort. It'll be your delight. It'll encourage you. It'll motivate you. And listen, if you need some motivation today, Motivation Monday, get in God's Word. And right now, I'm thinking about Romans 1.16. Do you know the verse? For I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ for it is the power of God unto salvation to everyone that believeth, and to the Jew first and also to the Greek. What a promise. And God tells us in Romans 1.16 about the gospel of Christ. And you know this wonderful gospel message, the gospel, that means the death, burial, and resurrection of Jesus. When we say the gospel, we're talking about the good news that Jesus died for our sins he paid your sin's price. And then we're talking about the, the fact that he was buried. And that on the third day, God raised Jesus from the dead and he's alive forevermore. You know why that's such great news? Because he died unto sin. He died for my sin. But now he lives forevermore, proving he has power over sin, power over death, hell, and the grave. And now that I've placed my faith in him, I have everlasting life. That's what the gospel is all about. And my heart is stirred right now for Romans 1.16 because you see there's some things here that God tells us I want you to have today. The first thing is this. God says, I am not ashamed. Romans 1.16, I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. You know, that's something that we need to keep burning in our hearts, isn't it? I am not ashamed. You ought to tell yourself that. I am not ashamed. I am not ashamed. I don't care who knows it. I don't care who hears it, but I want you to know that I am not ashamed of the gospel of Christ. I'm not going to hide my head. I'm not going to put, I'm not going to kind of skulk away in the corner somewhere. I'm not going to keep my mouth closed. I want to speak boldly, forthrightly, and I want everyone to know that Jesus lives and Jesus saves. And we are not ashamed to tell people, hey, Christ will save you. Christ will forgive you. And Christ will make the way for you. And he's the only way. We're not ashamed of this. And then he says, I'm not ashamed. That's a choice we must make and boldness we must have. And he says, because you see, the gospel is the power of God unto salvation. You know what will make the difference in this world? God does. His power does. You want the difference to be made? How many of you raise your hand if you want to be a difference maker? <laughs> I want to be a difference maker. Well, can I tell you where, where we find the ability to make the difference? It's not in us. It's in the, in the gospel of Jesus. It is the power of God. So you take the hard-hearted man. You take the impossible situation. You take the broken family. You take the battered wife. You take the drug addict. You take the drunk. You take the adulterer. You, you take whatever situation you want to take. And I want to tell you, there is a power that sin can't beat. There is a power that hell can't quench. There is a power that will save to the uttermost. It is the gospel. It is the power of God unto salvation. Now think about this with me. Now I heard a preacher say one time, he said he was complaining to another preacher. He said, preacher, we don't see people get saved anymore like we used to. And the old preacher said to the complaining preacher, he said, well, there's one of two options. Either the gospel has lost its power or we're not giving it out. You know what? That's convicting because the gospel hasn't lost its power, but we, we must give it out. This is Clint Louie, and I hope you have a great day today. God bless you. Read Romans 1.16.